when I say strength, y'all say squad, strength, squad, strength, squad. When I say strength, y'all say squad, strength, squad, strength, squad. You, you, you already know it's your boy D. Welcome, welcome. Back, back to the Vlog Class Club Channel. We are coffeeed up, man. You know, I've got some coffee in my system, but it's time to actually get some nutrients in my system, some real quality nutrients in my system. We're going to keep pushing these videos out to you guys, especially now. My job is to feed you guys entertainment, information, uh, motivation, all of the above, whatever it is that I can give you guys to keep you guys in a healthy state of mind. It's Quarantine Chronicles, man, and right now, as you can see by the title of the video, I'm going to share with y'all a secret recipe, or should I say, um, just one of my favorite go-to, especially when it comes to trying to stay on point with the diet. I already know the fridge be calling your name. You're right now, you're stuck in the house just like me, and I know the fridge is calling your name. How do I know? Because the fridge is always calling my name. You know what I'm saying? And the first thing you usually see is that box of pizza. And I'm telling you guys to hold tight, all right? Hold tight. Trust me, this whole COVID season is going to pass. Don't let it screw you up. So today I just wanted to share a recipe with you guys. It's very simple, very effective. I'm not gonna keep you guys along. It's really, really easy to make. All you need is a blender and a few things. But before I take you guys in the kitchen with me, I need y'all to do me a huge favor. If you're brand spanking new to the channel, please turn it up guys by smashing that bell turn on post notifications because as always we have a little channel we provide lit content and uh you know when you turn the post notification bells on you will be the first to be notified when we drop these bangers with that said guys i'm gonna always tell you guys i appreciate all the support and love that we get over here at the channel can't do it without you guys and also we are going to do post notifications i have not done a notification shout out in a long time but that ends today i must admit guys i dropped the ball when it came to doing these post notification shout outs but i'm scooping the ball back up i got it clutched tight and i'm looking out for you guys so at the end of this video in each and every video we will be doing a post notification shout out all right enough talking let's get in the kitchen a few moments later all right you guys welcome to my kitchen you gotta know how important you guys are to me how special and dear you are to me to be in my kitchen with me all right so just so you know i don't let everybody in my crib I don't let everybody in my kitchen, you know what I'm saying? When I tell you that this meal, or should I say this smoothie, is super quick, easy, fast, and delicious, you're gonna see it before your very eyes, all right? So I know you're probably trying to figure out what exactly are you looking at, what am I showing you? I'm gonna cut to the chase and get to it right now, all right? So what we're looking at, what you are gonna need for this beautiful concoction to come together is you're gonna need acai, all right? Acai, I switched it up. Shout out to uh, my sister Tam on IG. She let me know, you know what I'm saying? I've been saying it wrong. I've been saying it the hood way, which was a Kai. I've been saying a Kai and I've been saying it wrong and I'm so used to it that I'm just probably gonna keep saying a Kai because I keep messing it up. I think it's acai. Anyway, it has a whole bunch of nutritional benefits, whole bunch of antioxidants. Very tasty too. All right, so this is a half a bag. Um, I usually get these from Costco and I'll just pretty much go with a half a bag. I'll use a half a bag and then come back and do another half later. It has a beautiful blend of different types of fruits and stuff that just makes this thing delicious by itself. So what I'm gonna do is actually pour this into the blender. You're gonna need a blender, definitely. If you don't have a blender, I can't help you. I hope you have a mean elbow game Bruh. because that's probably the only other way that you can make this work. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead, put her up in here. All right, so now that we have our Akai in the blender, um, the next ingredient, this is actually what's going to make this thing magical. Frozen bananas, guys. Frozen bananas. I recommend one serving, just one medium size or large banana. Of course, you know, if you're tracking, if you're really, really trying to track, keep in mind that um, bananas are higher in carbs when it comes to the fruit. So keep that in mind when it comes to blending up your smoothies. I'm going to go with one banana, but if you want to track yours, then go right on the head. But to make this thing epic, go with one medium to one large whole banana. Trust me, this is what makes this whole thing magical. We have our acai, acai, all of the crazy words that I'm saying right now. And we have a whole banana that we're working with. And what I'm going to do is add some blueberries in it, just a half a cup, a half a serving, just to get some extra antioxidants. And also it provides a little bit more flavor, even though it's really not necessary, but I'm going to add it anyway. So again, this is completely optional. If you want to add more, if you just want to get those antioxidants up, go right on ahead. It's not going to hurt the taste of the smoothie. Neither will it hurt 
the benefits to your body. You feel me, hey guys? Quick little tip before we put any dry ingredients, of course, besides the actual fruit, before we go with any dry ingredients such as the protein that I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Before we do that, we want to definitely wet it a little bit because if you put dry ingredients, even if like let's just say you go to the gym and you have a shaker cup and you put your dry your uh, protein in it before you put your water or your milk, whatever the case, you'll notice that you still have chunks of your um, protein still in the cusp of your cup of your shaker cup, if that makes sense. And um, one of the ways to actually prevent that from happening is actually just putting your um, either your milk or your water, whatever you're using. But again, I highly recommend that you throw your liquid in before you go with your dry ingredients. So right now, what we're going with, and if you, damn, I should've turned that off before I even did this YouTube video. My bad, man, I'm slipping and I'm tripping. Hopefully you guys were able to hear me over the dryer. I'm gonna continue this video anyway. If you're gonna go with anything, if you're trying to make gains like me, do not go with any type of milk. Stay away from the regular milk. That's just my personal opinion. And if you're gonna go with almond milk, go with unsweetened. Go with unsweetened and vanilla for some extra flavor, all right? So I'm gonna go with a serving of this. We got the almond milk on deck. I'm probably gonna add some water to this. I wanna minimize the calories, so I'm not gonna put more milk in here. I still wanna keep some calories reserved when it comes to my actual food. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit of water in here. And as far as protein, this has been my go-to when it comes to this. But I just picked up the strawberries and cream. Comment below if you guys have tried the gold standard strawberries and cream. Sounds like it's going to be good. So you guys are going to be trying it for the first time with me. But if you tried it already, let me know what you guys think. Again, I haven't had it. Sounds good. Sounds like something that'll go with this. So we're going to go with this. So I'm getting ready to crack this bad boy open. Gold standard, guys. I'm not sponsored by them. But I will tell you this. I highly recommend it because all of the proteins that I've had from them have tasted absolutely amazing. So I wouldn't imagine that this would be anything different. I'm not sure if you guys are like me when the ice cream um, truck pulls up and you have that strawberries and cream uh, flavored popsicle. Well, it smells like that, guys. So um, I'm assuming that this is going to really taste good. I think I came through in the clutch. I think this is going to be a win, but it's only one way to truly find out. But I think this is the win. I got a feeling that this is going to be a banger. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a scoop of this in here. Get 24 grams of good, clean protein in my drink. Bam. Damn, y'all see how easy this is coming together. You know what I'm saying? No magic tricks or none of that, man. It's real simple. All right, so the last and final ingredient that we're going to need for this bad boy is pitted dates. This right here is a game changer, especially when it comes to just adding some natural sweetener flavors, guys. Especially if you want to sweeten up your smoothie and you don't want to throw no sugar in it. I absolutely highly do not recommend throwing any sugar in it. Only get your sugar from your natural sweeteners, all right? So this right here, fresh batch up. I'm going to throw in about two. And of course, throwing as many as you like that's pleasurable to your taste buds, all right? So again, this whole idea is to keep you away from Shake Shack, to keep you away from five guys getting those unhealthy shakes. This is supposed to pretty much replicate that, but this is a much healthier approach, all right? So let me go ahead and blend this bad boy up. Lock and load. Let's get this party started. store this in the mason jar and look at all of that quality quality gains believe me you will not you will not be disappointed mm, 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 mm. look at all that goodness all right y'all moment of truth we are getting ready to do a live taste test and if you know anything about your boy if you know me you know i keep it real i keep it a thousand i'm not just going you know hype beast myself up just to make myself look good if my mix is bad i definitely would want to keep it real with you guys i want to go back blend up something real special for you guys because at the end of the day anything that i provide for you guys i always wanted to be where all of y'all can say you know what 
dude not only keeps it real, he went back, made it work, whatever the case may be. Whatever it is that he gives us is always good. Now, mind you, this is only me giving a chase test in the sense in regards of the actual protein that I actually put in it. Again, with the vanilla, you can't go wrong with it. But this is the first time that I'm trying it with the actual strawberries and cream. So with that said, drum roll, please. Let's do it. I'm gonna taste it first, then I'm gonna let you guys taste it. And we're quarantining, so I'm gonna drink from this side of the glass, and I'm gonna let you guys drink from that side of the glass. All right, here we go. Mmm. Yeah. Go ahead. My nigga. <laughs> This is actually beyond that bad. It's definitely strength squad approved. Your boy D has officially approved it. I put the seal on it. As a matter of fact, don't take my word for it. Here you go. Quarantine it, so make sure you drink from your side. Here you go. Why is you spilling my gains? All I'm saying is drink responsibly. Do not be wasting my gains, all right? Here. Here. There you go. Oh my God. That's what I said. That's the same exact thing that I said. Ain't it good? I told you, no cap. You see for yourself. You guys see how good this is. And if you missed my video, unfortunately, you did not get a taste test. And you got to watch this video all over again. And you have to actually make your own. Last but not least, guys, as promised in the beginning of the video, we're going back to doing these post notification shout out. And today's special guest, today's post notification shout out goes to my good friend, Lady Carrie Lee. Forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. Charge it to my big ass brain. Do not charge it to my heart. Um, very supportive person, man. Very positive energy. Got a beautiful family and I uh, just wanted to make sure that I shouted this person out because they're very supportive and just, you know, also they have a YouTube channel. Link is in the description. They got great things going on. Everybody, all you guys, Strength Squad, I need y'all to go to that link and spam it up. Support, support, support. And if you want to post notification shout out, a few easy steps, guys. All you have to do is make sure that you subscribe to the channel, have the post notification bell turned on, and also comment Strength Squad 100 emoji down in the comment section. That's your way of letting us know that you're a proud member of the Strength Squad family. Shouting you guys out is my way of letting you guys know that I appreciate each and every one of your support. You already know, as always, do what brings life to you. And it's a great chance that you'll bring life to whatever it is that you do. We're turning up the heat on the channel. I told y'all we coming strong. Don't blink. We got another video coming soon, all right? Your boy D1 Love, Strength Squad. Let's get it.